Welcome to episode 10 of Raise the Bar with me, your host, Daryl LaBar. This will be the first episode where we actually dive into Canvas apps. So, uh, of course, I'm going to be doing the coding portion of Canvas apps, but it's important for anybody that's really interested in getting a better understanding of all the intricate detail that goes into building a Canvas app. So, uh, here we have a uh, Power App created by uh, Scott Drew, Canvas App, excuse me, created by Scott Drew called uh, Power Flappy. It's a really nice little game that you that he's created. It's open up open source. You can go and edit it and look at it and play with it and do whatever you'd like. So I would like to go through and show the tool that I've written in order to be able to extract this out, to be able to edit it locally if you want to, and most importantly, be able to check into TFS and build out of TFS. So this is an important part of the ALM uh, process that's missing currently from Microsoft. So uh, this has some huge, huge, huge warnings here. None of this stuff is theoretically supported. Microsoft is not going to be uh, apologizing when they change the format and your ALM lifecycle that you've created depends on this tool working. And because they changed the format, the tool broke. Uh, they're going to do nothing to help you because this is not something that is quote unquote supported. But they do have to maintain uh, backwards compatibility for importing these um, these apps. So that should be helpful going forward. And uh, yeah, and if the whole community can grab around this and help to keep it up to date and keep it maintained, I will we'll all benefit from it going forward. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at, at what this actual tool does. So I've already gone through and extracted out the uh, this app. So if you go back and actually let's close here first, but actually first we're going, let's, let's take note of this. I am on the screen splash and I've selected the label title and the text value here is power flappy. So we're gonna change that here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the app. Okay, and I'm gonna go back to open and I'm going to actually, oh, that's not where I wanted to go. I'm still getting used to power apps. Give me one second. Okay, actually I wanted to be here at the, rather than create, I wanna be the make. So in the make here, I've got this version here and I'm going to actually select it and actually uh, export that. So, uh, sorry, select to export that package. Okay. So here it's going to be a power app. Sure. Um, actually let's call it power flappy, power flappy. Okay. And, uh, I'm going to go ahead and export that. And that's going to go ahead and build. And I'm going to just go ahead and skip right to the end here where we've actually got it downloaded. So let's go there. Okay, so for now I've downloaded this Power Flappy, and if you open this up, you'll see that it contains this Microsoft the Power Apps, and here you have apps, and here you have this really long weird number, and then in this really long number folder, you actually have this MS Apps. This is the part that actually has all your code in it. And it's very difficult to open it at this file, but I did figure out a way to do that. So um, let's see actually how we can actually extract that out. Because if you just unzip the zip and check this in, this really doesn't do a lot for you. Um, so let's go look at the tool. So the tool here is actually this uh, Canvas app package on GitHub. And uh, so far I'm on 1.1 or 1.00.1. So you can go ahead and, and download that zip file and, and unzip it to whatever folder you'd like to do that at. And once you've done that, then you just need to run a couple of command lines. And there's some uh, options here about what you do here, but basically it's a uh, slash action and you get to specify the, the action, the zip file and the folder. I believe those are case sensitive so just be careful of that. Uh, I just use a single letter for mine, so I'll go ahead and show you what I got here. So uh, first thing I wanna do is I want to unpack this. So I'm in the folder of my exe, I'm going to unpack it, and the folder I want, to, the file I wanna pack is this power, fla uh, power, power flappy, excuse me. And then the folder I wanna extract it to is this folder here. So I'm gonna push under here and let that run. Cool, so now, now we can actually go and look at what it just did. So I open up the tool, go to extract here. Now we can see all the stuff here is exactly that was before. So if you have any other information here, they might show up here as well. You might also see in here the, uh, if you have any uh, flows or anything else, they might be here as well. But here's this app. So this is one that's uh, been created from the tool. And here we have our power flappy. And in here, this assets, metadata, references, and resources. And there's actually a controls that you would see normally uh, that that has actually been renamed to this code. And in here, you'll actually see a little bit more information. So in here, I mentioned that, hey, we are on the uh, the screen splash. Let's open that up. And then we are on that label. If I open that up, in here, you'll see two files, uh, a JSON file, which will just go through 
and give you just some information about the actual file itself. It's not really something that I'm assuming you're going to be actually editing. So if I open it up and look at it here in uh, Notepad++, uh, there is some uh, some template information. The, here are the rules, and this is all, all the stuff actually that you would actually be giving values for. Uh, I actually pull all those values off of that and put it in a separate file that's an actual uh, JavaScript file. That's JavaScript by name, obviously. It's not actually real JavaScript. It's um, the, the fun format that is uh, Canvas Apps Logic. But that's this JS file, and you get a little bit more IntelliSense with it, and you can uh, collapse and, and do that. But all those rules have now been written to these uh, to these lines instead. So we saw at the beginning it said Power Flappy, and I'm going to change that to Power Daryl just to, to do that. I'm going to save that. Cool. And now that I've saved that, I'm going to go ahead and pack my actual app. So it's going to be the same basic thing as before, except now we're then an uh, unpack. It's a pack for the action. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, and actually I'm going to also change the zip file to so Power Daryl's zip file. All right. So I went through and it packed all those things together. Great, created the zip file. So now if I go back to Power Flappy, I've now got this Power Daryl. All right, let's go ahead and import this into our actual uh, org here. All right, so that one downloaded, great. Go back to this uh, import. Again, these are all preview features, so uh, I guess use them at your own risk. Um, and realize that you're not going to get any support from Microsoft on most of the stuff. So, uh, although I think they do want it to all succeed, I don't believe that they are ready to say, "Hey, this stuff is to the point where we want to be, uh, where we're actually going to manage maintaining it if there are any issues uh, with it." So, um, takes a little bit to import, so it's not entirely all that great, but it's okay. It's enough. Um, so, I just want to update the Power App. Cool, Power Flappy, and I'm going to import that. So that's the zip file that uh, has been created from the the, the uh, Canvas app packager. We'll let that go through and upload. All right, it has finished uploading and importing. Now I'm going to open the app itself. And now when we see it opens, we should see our title screen change. All right, it's loading, loading, loading. And there it is, Power Daryl. So before it was Power Flappy, now it's Power Daryl. I edited that local and brought it up. So any of that code that you want to edit locally, if you've ever said, oh, I've got to edit the same control in 50 different spots, or I want to do a search and replace, uh, you can now, through the power of uh, whatever your local desktop uh, stuff is that you're working with, you can now do that. Uh, one, one couple gotchas. Let's let's go through that one. Uh, I did originally go through and have each of these rules, these values, be a separate file, um, but the app I was working with created over 8,000 files, and that seemed kind of large. So now basically every single uh, every single control that we have on this label title, all these different values here, these are called rules underneath the cover. Every single one of those rules, the value that you have here is going to show up in this um, in this file for that particular control. And everything will be nested however it happens to be nested. So if you've got uh, a, a group on a on a screen that has a control on it, then, then those would be nested in your actual uh, file on your disk. But, uh, but here you can see that's a text. If you wanted to change the uh, see X and Y, I think those are in here as well. Um, you may ask, okay, Daryl, why aren't these alphabet, uh, alphabetized? And I am just matching exactly what's in the uh, file that gets created for, that you get from Microsoft, so I didn't want to mess anything up with their ordering. So uh, if they ever go through and decide to order these rules, that would be actually very nice. Uh, the other thing to, to keep track of here is, so I pull that name from this. This is obviously just something I, I have so you can actually have some grouping in your editor. And then I have this other value here, this end of X stuff, uh, or end of vertical line. This is uh, basically a keyword that's being looked for to go and find that particular those particular values. So make sure, make sure that you actually don't uh, uh, mess around with that. So if you go through and delete that and then you go and save it and upload it, you're going to have an issue. It's not going to uh, get created correctly. It should actually throw an error because uh, in this case, it's going to see this as one rule from here to here and say, hey, I never found a focused border thickness uh, value. So uh, so yeah, you should be safe. At least you won't shoot yourself in the foot, but it will break your actual uh, pack command. So just be aware that that's how I've gone through and, and structured that. So that's, uh, but that's about it. So um, uh, feel free to be doing as much as you want of exporting out of uh, out of 
uh, a power uh, power apps and into your TFS if you want or source control whatever you happen to be using. But in this case, uh, the pack does work as well for the time being. I'm sure there are going to be plenty of bugs, so please feel free to submit issues as well as to uh, create pull requests. That's always good as well. So hopefully this is helpful for you and your projects, and hopefully it's something that uh, you can uh, help support in the future as well. Thank you very much. Have a good one.